Hey everyone! So, okay, this is kind of a late little video that I wanted to film before the Booktubeathon started, but the Booktubeathon starts in like an hour and 20-ish minutes, so I wanted to make a quick 2BR video, which I know a lot of people have made these before, but I still wanted to do it, and yes, yeah, just to kind of introduce the Booktubeathon that I'm going to be part of, um, and joining into with all the other booktubers, which will be awesome. So, I have seven books that I want to read for this readathon. However, I do not think that I will um, read every single one of them. I want to try, but I also don't want to limit myself just to this TBR, because as you can see behind me, I have a massive bookshelf full of books, and then these are manga right behind me over here. So, yeah, I have a lot to read. But I will show you what books I'm planning on reading. So the first one is um, one of my favorite authors, and that is Break by Hannah Moskowitz. This is a book about a boy who tries to break every bone in his body in order to become stronger. And her books are just really gritty and dark and excellent, excellently written. And this book just is really, really short, and I don't think it'll be that hard to read at all. So I'm really, really excited to read this one. It's one of my favorite, favorite authors. And then um, another book I'm also going to be reading, this is for one of the challenges, and that is Same Difference by Derek Kirk Kim. And this is a graphic novel, so this will be for the read-a-book with pictures in them. And as you can see, it is full of pictures, pretty pictures. So I'm very excited to read this one. Um, Melissa loves this book, so I've been meaning to read this for forever. It's really, really tiny, too, so it should be easy to read. Then I have a bunch of verse novels, because for some reason, I only want to read these during booktubeathons, or readathons, rather. I don't know why, but they're, they're really, really quick reads. So the first one is Waiting by Carol Lynch Williams, and this is the book by the author of Glimpse, which I loved when I read it in, like, 2012. So I'm really, really excited for this one because it's about a girl whose brother dies and she goes through the grief process and kind of blames herself for her brother's death. And it just sounds really, really dark and gritty and I really, really want to read it. Um, I really love stories about grief and yeah, really, really excited for this one. The next book, um, the next two books actually are from one of my new, not really new actually, one of my favorite authors. I read her during the book two with, uh, not the book two with, um, the Bout of Books Readathon a couple, maybe a year or two ago. Um, I read I Heart You Haunt Me, so I got Far From You and Chasing Brooklyn. And these are her other novels. Um, I believe one of these is a companion to I Heart You, You Haunt Me, but I really, really wanted to read these. Um, they sound really, really good. This one's about a girl that finds an angel, I believe is it, and she might have known him. When he was alive, I think that's what it's about, but I'm not sure, so I will know eventually. I don't really look at what books are about when I pick them out, so, but this one, I think, Chasing Brooklyn, is the um, companion to I Heart You, You Haunt Me, but it might not be. It's with a different main character, so maybe it's not, but I love that book so much, so I'm really, really, really excited to read more from this author. She's so wonderful. If you haven't given her a chance, you really should. And then, I have one of my favorite authors of all time, and you all probably know who this author is, if you've known my channel for a while. Um, this is also part of the challenge, and that is How I Met, um, How They Met and Other Stories by David Levithan. And this book is just a collection of short stories about how people meet and fall in love with each other. And I've heard this is amazing, and this will um, complete two challenges in the Booktubeathon because it has a little bit of red on the magnet, um, on both magnets. And also my best friend in Bookland, Melissa, picked this book out for me to read. So I'm going to be reading this soon. It's really, really tiny also, and there's a lot of short stories. So I'm thinking um, I can just go through all of these and read maybe a couple of short stories every day and then eventually finish it by the end of the readathon. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So that will be awesome. And then the final book I'm going to read, and this is kind of a maybe, because I don't know if I can read all of these books in the Booktubeathon. I might be able to, since a lot of them are short and with verse. And this one's also a verse book, 
and it's a book I've been putting off for so long, and I don't know why I haven't read it yet, but that is Fallout by Alan Hopkins. This is, like, my favorite author in the world, or one of my favorite authors in the world. I love her to death. And this is the final book in the Crank trilogy. So this could have technically... Um, uh, what's the word? It could have technically counted for the Read a Series challenge, but I didn't read the whole series in the challenge, so I don't know if that works at all. But this is the end of a series, so maybe that's like a half point, maybe. But this is the final book in the series, and it's about um, the main characters' uh, children, Hunter, Autumn, and Summer. Is that right? Please tell me that's right. Um, and it's, it just sounds like a really amazing book, and I really do like this trilogy. It's not my favorite, but I love Ellen Hopkins. She is just so raw and realistic and wonderful. So that is my tentative to the R pile right now. I have a ton of books behind me that I want to read, though, so I might not stick with this, but I'm super excited for the book Tubathon. I really, really love readathons. They're so fun. And going along with this, I wanted to kind of do my um, currently reading kind of thing. I guess a late, late Friday read, sort of, I guess. But right now, I'm currently reading uh, With or Without You by Brian Ferry. This is a reread. I absolutely love this book to death. Oh my god, it's so wonderful! And this, I'm so excited to read. Um, I actually left this book at work. This is my second copy of it, and I'm kind of planning on giving away my other copy to a co to a customer that I love, and she is just the sweetest person in the world, guys. Like, she is so lovely and wonderful, and I really, really want her to read this book, so I think I'm just going to give it to her as a present, and I'm sure she'll enjoy that, because she's actually talked to me about, like, LGBT stuff, and she's gone to Pride, and she's, like, one of the few people I can actually talk about being gay with, you know? <laughs> That's kind of, kind of weird to say, but I love her. She's wonderful. And then the other book I'm currently reading is the one that I'm not rereading, so I'm kind of counting this, is uh, Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Oh my god, you guys, this book is so wonderful. I absolutely love this series. The, the characters are so wonderful so far. Um, and I just, I'm so attached to every single one of them. I am almost halfway through with this one as well, so I'm about halfway through with both of these books. So that's pretty cool. I might put these down for the book Tubathon, maybe? I don't know. They probably wouldn't count for it. Because I'm already reading them. Maybe they would. I don't know. I might still read them and, like, read a little bit from them. But I really want to focus on my TBR pile. But also, I don't want to... I, I just don't want to focus on it because I might read something else. But I'm still excited. I'm going to read as much as I can this week um, along with work. So it might be a little difficult. But I'm still so excited. So let me know in the comments below what you are planning on reading. Or if you're planning on reading anything... Like, maybe you're just not planning on reading something. You're just going to go with it and go with the flow of what you want to read. I want to do that, too. So, uh, let's see. Um, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I hope you're excited for the book, too, with on. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get started on this. And I shall see you guys later. So, good luck to everyone. And have a great night. Bye-bye.